Well, Russia, I'm glad we sorted that out. Maybe we can cool things down a little bit? Thank you for agreeing to this historic compromise, Mr. Gorbachev. I'm sure this will help ease the nuclear tensions around the world. Now that the USSR is no more, maybe the world will be able to rest. I don't know how I feel about this Putin guy. Russia is starting to look more like a dictatorship than a republic. Russia, this is your final warning. Stop interfering with sovereign states in Europe. You're going to regret it. Okay, I'm serious this time. Leave Ukraine alone. One more transgression, and you're done for. Hi. How are you doing, fellow loyalists to the American Empire? All right, I guess. Sir, may I see your briefcase? Why do you want to see my briefcase? Sir, it's protocol. We have to make sure you aren't carrying any illegal contraband. You know that you aren't allowed to look into an ambassador's briefcase, correct? Look, dude, I know, but I get paid like nine fifty an hour here, and I don't have time to deal with this bullshit. Can I please see the damn briefcase? Detonation imminent. T minus. Ten seconds. W what the hell was that? What do you mean? It was just my... Poke walker. Who the hell is playing with a poke walker in 2022? At 10.30 local time, a large explosion was reported at the Russian Federation Embassy building in downtown Washington, D.C. All residents are being urged to shelter in place, as high levels of radioactive particulates have been reported around the site of the explosion. Sources within the United States government have confirmed that the perpetrator of the attack was none other than Russia McGee, a double agent for the Russian Federation. In hindsight, they really should have looked more into that guy before making him an ambassador. But regardless, Russia will pay with its blood. My fellow Americans, today we have finally decided to take a stand against the tyranny of the Russian government. The United States has launched 1,000 nuclear warheads to Russia, China, and even North Korea for good measure. Some say our allies are too close to our adversaries. What if our nuclear weapons hurt them? Well, fuck them. You think I give a damn? As it turns out, Russia wasn't bluffing about their large arsenal of nuclear weapons. Even China decided to join in on the fun. Our missile defense systems are not able to keep up with all of the missiles coming our way. Estimated trajectories of these long-range nuclear warheads indicate that they will likely hit the cities of New York, Washington, D.C., Jacksonville, Miami, Las Vegas, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Houston, Dallas, Chicago, and basically every other major city in the country. Even if you live in a rural area, you're probably still going to get cooked inside out like some sick form of a hot pocket. Anyways, good luck. Assume blast position now. Assume blast position now. Assume blast position. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my